So my name is Ms. Shel Bernard and I'm the Director of Development for SOS Children's Village BC. Uh, my name is Farah Collier and I'm the Village Director here at SOS Children's Village. So the village was founded in 1986 and the founders had a vision uh, to help children in the foster care system so that they weren't uh, moving from household to household and that was the main uh, founding reason of, of why SOS BC exists. exists. SOS International is a worldwide organization um, that it was founded in 1945 uh, by Herman Geminer and there's over 550 um, villages around the world. So this is where we are right now which is at SOS Children's Village and it's the only one in Canada. So we have homes here that have children in care and youth in care and the caregivers that live at these homes um, we call them caregivers, some people call them foster parents, um, whether it's one person or two, they take care of these wonderful kids and youth in our village. So the funding that we received from the Surrey Cares Community Foundation was instrumental in helping us to purchase PPE, to purchase screens that go in between people's desks, the um, sanitizer, laptops, and different types of equipment for the youth that had already, uh, or that were aging out of care. So many of our youth uh, are unable, like a lot of the time they attended the library to access computers and they didn't have laptops themselves or iPads or, or things like that. So we were able to purchase some of the, that equipment with the funding from the Surrey Cares Foundation. We're doing everything via Zoom or we have other platforms now that we can um, work within. But what about these kids? And what about their education? If they can't go to school, how are they supposed to do their school work? Now we're blessed to have an educator on site who's also a caregiver. So this was instrumental. Getting those laptops and those iPads is instrumental for them to be able to keep up with their schoolwork. You know, so that was huge for us. And we talk about PPEs. Do you know how many masks we go through a day over here? With these kids, they're wearing masks constantly. They're playing outside. Their masks get wet. It rains in BC. So we're, we're going through hundreds of masks, hand sanitizer, we're constantly washing our hands. I mean, we need all of that equipment and it's expensive for us to have to go out and buy that otherwise. So, you know, the gratitude that we have towards Surrey Cares for being able to provide our village and our children these things, honestly, you have no idea how instrumental it is towards their healing um, and also so they can manage their day-to-day -day activities and do it in a safe manner. So we're very, very grateful to everybody from Surrey Cares for that. So let me talk about some of the things that we've had to think outside the box um, to do. And with your funding, we've, uh, we've been able to accomplish. One of those things is being able to have passes for Mount Seymour and where the kids are learning how to snowboard and ski with their families. So that is a mental health piece. You know, being able to leave the village and to be able to go on an excursion with your family and do something safely that has been huge for everybody's mental health, um, for the caregivers, but especially for our children and youth. Um, and then, you know, we talk about how do we support our kids here? We, we only had a part-time clinician. With the funding, we're now able to have a full-time clinician. And we've literally just moved her to full-time hours and right, and she's got a full caseload, absolutely full caseload. And, you know, you have to ask yourself why. Uh, you know, we, and the reality is, it's not just our kids and youth that are using her at this moment. It's also our caregivers. And um, there's a reason, and staff. I mean, everybody right now, um, we may be having smiles on our faces, but it's challenging. It's challenging for everyone. So because of your funding, those small things have been able to impact everybody. Hi. <laughs> On behalf of everyone at SOS, we would also uh, like to express our sincere gratitude to the Government of Canada uh, Emergency Support Fund for ensuring that our organizations can continue to uh, provide the programs that are so necessary in our communities.